100 blades on an assassin is this even good so this is a build it's just 100 blades but i really like how oni sword looks on my assassin so i was like i'm just gonna try making a 100 blades build on assassin to see what i can get it to to see if i can get it to be kind of comparable to a warrior's 100 blades so here is like one of the test builds i came up with so i tried a few different things i tried like way of the master which is really good but you either drop crit eye like you can drop crit eye for way of the master you're basically going to be getting more crits so let's actually try that uh, it kind of acts as a cover enchantment for critical agility so let's just actually try that so basically you have infinite energy because the only things that are really consuming energy are like protector strike hunter blades uh critical agility maintains itself unless it gets torn down way of the master really low cooldown or really high cooldown lasts forever same thing with four great justice so you'd run something like this uh, i just have basic mods 15 over 50 armor penetration i have plus 30 health because if you're running critical agility the you hit armor cap at 25 so the plus five armor is not going to do anything uh but what is the like what's the point of this is there a point of this it's for fun really the point of it 100 percent is for fun it's not it's not the best build it's definitely just something that you can run if you want to just like goof off on a character so you can see here, it's okay. It's not the best thing. There's better options. Like, there's definitely better builds for sure. But I'm gonna I'm gonna compare this to an actual Hundred Blades Warrior. All right, so we'll just do a little bit longer. All right, we'll bow. All right, so I'm able to consistently hit 80 DPS, which isn't bad. Um, it's not all area damage though. Most of your AoE is coming from 100 blades, but if you get balled up enemies, as we all know, you get big spikes. So if you get something like that, that's like the three plus enemies, that's when you start getting decent damage. But 80 DPS on an assassin. All right, now what's the, what are the pros and cons versus this versus a warrior? Uh, warrior has higher base armor. Warrior is going to actually have access to a shield. I'm forced to go into crit strikes and swordsmanship. Uh, I could lower the crit strikes without I'm losing out on crits. Like every every percent I get is going to slightly boost my single target damage. So theoretically you could run something. Let's see. We still want to be at 13 I want to say. You could run something like this. So then you get the benefits of the shield. If you want it. Just for higher armor. Because the shield shields add armor to your like base armor value that's not considered bonus armor so now i'm plus 15 armor while attacking which is also base armor so i'm at 85 while i'm attacking and then i'm plus 25 from this and then plus 16 from the shield so it's pretty substantial armor like it's a pretty tanky assassin now obviously there are better builds to run this is just com this is a completely for fun build it's probably viable in most hard mode content aside from like winds of change and elite missions uh, overall, it's just kind of a meme. It's just fun, though. If there's a bunch of balled-up enemies, it would still be viable. And then you have save yourself, so it's not the worst thing. So you got your save yourself spam. It's like decent DPS. It's not the best thing. I'll compare it to an actual warrior, though, soon. It seems like I'm not losing out on too much damage, dropping that crit. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still basically getting 80. So you could run something like this. So you get nine tactics, and if you want to run like an eight tactic shield for like, you know, if you get weakened or something, you could do that. But now I have the full armor. So, all right, so here's the build. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a meme. Uh, but it's, you know, you still have save yourselves. You have good armor. The big upside of this versus the warrior build that I'm going to show, the, the, the warrior build tends to use flail. Let's just get on my warrior. The warrior build tends to use flail, right? So... Being able to move at 100% speed at all times is nice. But this is, you know, your standard 100 blades type of situation. 16 sword. Uh, you can do 13 strength. You can do 14, 15, whatever you feel comfortable with. I do 14 just in case I get weakened, so I still have plus 20 armor versus um, elemental. 
All right, so let's check it out. Let's see how it compares. I'm just gonna run up to him and kind of take my time. You would be using save yourselves too. Probably be using flail as much as I am. Okay, so most hunter blade builds like they tend to have fluctuation. So like this right now, I got seventy six DPS, but I've seen it hit like eighty as well. So it's actually pretty comparable DPS to a warrior at 16 swordsmanship because of the crits. Uh, so like for single target, the crits can be better or worse depending on like how much damage you're dealing, but it's pretty comparable. The upside though, flail, like there, there's basically pros and cons to both, right? Like neither of them, both of them are in some ways meta builds when you have balled up enemies and you just get a huge whirlwind attack off. That's like the big up, that's the point of the build, right? But with the assassin version, you have better mobility. You do have a cancel stance with enraging charge, which also can fuel other things. Uh, but with the assassin build, you have um, protectors strike spam. So like you constantly get this, like, like you hit and then use protector strike. You hit and use protector strike. You're just constantly hitting. So you have better damage compression. And when 100 blades is down, I feel like the damage is slightly better. Let's actually see, like 43. So that's when 100 blades is down, I'm doing like 40s. And then for the assassin, kind of like 50. So it's, it's slightly better when 100 blades is down. Uh, the warrior has better passive tanking. Like if, I, if the enchantment gets removed from the assassin or I'm not attacking, obviously I'm not as tanky. But it's a decent build. It's not, it's viable. You can run it, you can run it on most chill hard mode shit. Like vanquishing and stuff and like hard mode missions probably. Now if you wanted to change it. Uh, now you do have a shield on the assassin. Uh, you could run something else. I don't know why you would. You basically would want a shield. Like, if it's a sword build, you, there's no reason to run an offhand. Your energy management's ridiculous. Uh, you could probably... I'm going to try not running Way of the Master and just see what happens for, like, the DPS. Because I'm going to lose a lot of crits. So I'm just curious if I wanted to run a different utility skill or something. You could run, like... You could drop... Um, save yourselves for, like, Eb Ebon Battle Standard or something like that. Um... That'll boost your DPS a lot. So let's just see how much of a DPS drop off we get without the crits. Probably should have used four great that early. <laughs> I need to time my um, sun and moons better. Alright, now I'm like dealing similar damage to the warrior. Okay, so it definitely does add a little bit. The crits. So you can you can optionally run it. It's not necessary. You could run something like like dash. Dash is kinda nice. If you're already running like what is it? Fall back and shit like that, you probably won't need this. But if you're not running fallback on your units, dash can be nice just to close distance gap. You can always run like a shadow stab, like death's charge or something like that. Um, you could run retreat. That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> you don't run retreat. Um, yeah. Spirit walk can be good in some instances if there's a lot of spirits, but let's see. It's going to shadow arts. Yeah, you could run like death's charge if you want. You don't have to. Now, obviously, there are way better builds on Assassin. This is just, like, a for, a for fun build. Uh, you could also optionally run Distracting Blow. So if you want, like, more shutdown and utility. And you can actually time them on purpose to interrupt enemy skills. So it definitely helps. And it, it interrupts adjacent, so it's no joke. Every 10 seconds, you have an adjacent interrupt. It also triggers 100 blades, uh, interestingly enough. And what you can do is you can hit and then use it because it hits so fast. Uh, one thing I do want to test is, is uh, if Deft Strike triggers 100 blades, because that's fast-acting attack that deals a little bit of damage, like 30 armor ignoring damage, inflicts bleeding if they've cracked armor. But it's fast, and it's on an 8-second cooldown, so... Alright, let's just kind of chill out. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that combo. How, like, quick that is. Let's see. 77. That's not bad, actually. So you can just straight up drop the crit. Interesting. Now, the only downside of this build is if this gets stripped, which can happen, um, <laughs> you just lose armor and IMS, so that sucks. Uh, so let's actually just test it without without this, just to see like where we're at. Because then you're just attacking, you know, I think it's every 1.3 seconds. But not necessarily, because you have these increased... You still attack faster because of these. Right? So it still kind of pushes your damage up a little bit. So this is like worst case, or not not necessarily worst case scenario, you could always be blinded. It could always be worse. You could be blinded, you could be knocked down, you could be snared, you could have faint heartedness or whatever thrown on you. Sorry, so 56 DPS when critical agility is dropped with 70 to 63 early on. So it's not the best thing, but if you if you you know you have critical agility up. It's pretty good. Flail is definitely more consistent. Stance removal is not that common in the game. So yeah, there's like a few different options. Uh, it's a pretty fun build. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try uh, running it just for the hell of it. For like Eye of the North stuff, I need to get this assassin. I just got Eye of the North in this account, so I'm gonna get this assassin, Eye of the North, and some other stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Just a hundred blades assassin build. Nothing crazy. Nothing groundbreaking. I'm sure people have tried it before, but I just figured I'd make a video on it. Just cause it's kind of fun. Uh, there's way better <laughs> assassin builds though. Like just dagger spam is. Definitely better than 100 blades and there's stuff like shadow theft dagger spam, which is ridiculous uh, So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for checking this out Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and I'll see you in the next one